Hello and welcome. Today I like to talk about polarity and the associated spin orientation, a subject I came across my studies of Walter Russell and sacred geometry. While this lecture has much deeper meaning to all of us, I focus here in the interest of coilers to understand the meaning of clockwise and counterclockwise spin for their application. This subject has a vast amount of information, but I will only concentrate on some of the pillars with reference details for you to extend your study. The references are in the description below the video. Let's begin with stating that everything has its opposites. It starts from emptiness and extends at the same time to matter, no matter, right and left, to male and female, black and white light, or hot and cold. It visualizes the creation of bodies by polarizing an equilibrium condition and destroys them by depolarizing them. Nature repeats bodies by voiding their polarity through interchange between the opposite conditions. All bodies are infinitely extended. The intro picture will become important later in this lecture. My next example depicts the function of sound waves. On the top left we see a harp string, that's picture 52 or figure 52. It shows a harp string which is not picked, which has not been picked, that means it's in silent or it's motionless. It symbolizes no movement or vibration which does not exist in our three-dimensional reality. In figure 53 you see a vibrating harp string. In the vibration acceleration of figure 54 we see the full cycle of the motion passing every time to zero or the silent point. At each motion above or below the silent point we hear a sound, but only if there are consecutive motions as frequency for the range of our hearing. Every sound is a body of matter which is born, lives, dies and is reborn sequentially sequentially, just as your body is born, lives, dies and is reborn. Every body of matter is a spiral wave which pulses with a universal heartbeat. You see the full cycle in picture of figure 55. It's a sound wave or it's a wave of an electrical current you are familiar with. Every state of motion is a wave. Every wave is manifested by countless corpuscular bodies which breathe in and out to compress and to expand just as your body breathes in and out to manifest life and death by sequentially compressing and expanding. This is the nature of law of compressing cold to heat and expanding heat to cold and the cycle begins again. Here is the next um, image uh, shows the wave characteristic of light and compares it here with a nebula in our universe. Look at the two top pictures. Spiral nebulas such as the figures here 58 and 59 uh, have life and death cycles of hundreds of billions of years but as the same in principle any construction to the spirals or vibrating harp strings or the loops or force of an electric current. Picture 61 um, visualizes the three-dimensional characteristic of light. It is the same as in electricity with electrical potential and electric current existing at different phases to each other in the same direction of motion. Here in the picture of the uni uh, universal pulse, the energy flow is here symbolized as the both spirals in and out for the negative discharge and a positive charge and that is also realized in the movement of energy um, 
If you imagine now a coil design in order to follow the law of creation, you have to link two coils with clockwise and counterclockwise rotation of windings to each other. However, as you can see, they are the same moving in different directions. I like to demonstrate this now for you on my designs I have here on the table. A. You see a coil design in the transparent acrylic sheet that is here. And B. You see two coils marked as blue for male and red for fem female. These two coils. And you have a magnet bar here. So this is picture you have seen in the front here is an additional of the color rotation and in the center we have the sun. So we are moving from red to blue. That is symbolized here means from um, male to female and vice versa. And that is also mentioned in the spin direction. If you stand, stand on the earth and look up to the sky through your two coils they will be clockwise to both of them. And if you're in the sky, you look down to Earth, they will be counterclockwise rotating. The different winding direction is established by the up and down movement of the current and electrical potential as in the magnet bar through the block wall, where there is an equilibrium of forces at the center of creation. While here is no seeming motion to notice, but the fact is that the motion is very fast but visible when exposed to plasma, as I demonstrated in one of my earlier videos. If you look now at this coil, you might not realize, but they're both clockwise and counterclockwise on top of each other. Because you can look through now, you see what I just said is true. You have the same spin orientation. It only depends from where you look at. In the middle is an infinite movement to each other until there is a zero movement of spin and then they move over to the other side. And that is the center of creation, the center sun, or where everything happens, that is the zero point. Where everything starts. Without this point, the fulcrum here, nothing would be existing in this universe. You might ask yourself now, how I can use this detail to generate power. It was mentioned that the two opposite coils need to have the load in between, as you see it here in front of the table. However, in the past and recently, I did not get different results to prove this in comparison to just a resistor to the load. However, at resonance frequency, I get interesting results on the behavior of equipment. Not sure if that is relevant to us. Let me know. Thank you very much. And goodbye.